All right, Shalom. Um, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the pushing work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this uh, video about um, reincarnation. Okay, I'm going to be touching on a couple things. Okay, but I'm going in on the. Um, story of when Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac, okay, and the real uh, meaning behind that, okay. So, um, if you don't know, Isaac, okay, which was Abraham's son, reincarnation is the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shah, okay? And I'm going to prove that through the scriptures, okay? This is James 1 and 13. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man, okay? Now, when you go into the word, tempt, Okay, it means a desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Okay, now the story of uh, Abraham. Okay, in today's society, okay, people will say that it's wrong, okay, or unwise, but I'm gonna get into all that. Okay, um, it says, uh, but every man is tempted. When he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay? So basically, you're tempted, okay? When you're lusting or, or, or wanting to do something wrong or unwise. Okay? Which is going against the scriptures. Okay? That's ultimately what what um, lust is. And when Satan tempts you, Satan wants you to get off the course of what the Lord set up, okay, and the Lord, okay, God himself doesn't want you to go off course, okay, God, the one who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh, okay, the most high, Yahweh, 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 okay, he doesn't want his elect to go off, okay, he sends different things their way to test them and, and, and so whether, or not they're really down for his cause. But when it comes down to actually telling somebody to go off and do some um, straight up wicked, wicked stuff. That's not of the Lord. Okay. So it says then when lust has conceived it brings forth sin. So the Lord. Okay. God is not going to. Um basically entice somebody to uh, sin, okay? He wants you to do his laws, that's which the commandments, okay? It says, and sin, when it is finished, bring it forth death, okay? So, I'm going to get into a story, okay, that may seem like some, you know, Abraham was about to do something wrong or unwise, okay? But through the, the spirit, okay, and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, it wasn't. And if it's not meant for you, then it's not meant for you, okay? But this is meant for the elect, okay? So, I'm going to start off with this scripture. This is John 8 and uh, 51. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead, whom makest thou thyself? Yahweh Sah answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honors me. Okay, he was talking about the heavenly father. 
which the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, I mean Yahweh. Okay? The two totally different entities, okay? The one of the world didn't really call Jesus say he was not seeking his own honor. But the most high that created everything is the one that is honoring him. Of whom you say that he is your God. So you say that's your God. This is what Jesus said. You said that you said that that's your God. Well, that's the one that's honoring me. Okay? I'm not out here seeking vain glory. I'm seeking what the Lord wants me to do. Okay? And that's what he said. Yet you have not known him. So it's a lot of people who don't know the Heavenly Father. Okay? The one who they ignorantly call God. Okay? And if you don't know the Heavenly Father, then of course you're not going to know the Son. But I know him. So he said he know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. It says your father Abraham. Okay. When she was talking to the Israelites. Okay. The Israelites go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. So he was saying that Abraham, which is your father, the, the uh, one of the progenitors of your, your, your bloodline, he was happy when he saw me. And he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, You are not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? So how did you see Abraham when you are not fifty years You ain't even fifty years old yet. And he said unto them, Verily, verily, which is truly, truly, I say unto you, before Abraham was, okay, before Abraham was even thought of, I am. Okay, then they took up stones to cast at him, but he, he hid himself, okay, Yahweh hid himself, and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by, okay. So it says, they said that you are not 50 years old yet, and you have seen him, okay? Now I'm going to show you where he saw him at, okay? And where Abraham was happy that he saw him, okay? So this is Genesis 18 and 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day, okay? It says the Lord. Okay, so this is when the Lord came to, and, and Abraham saw him, right? It says, and he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in your sight, pass not away, I pray you from your servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort you, your hearts. After that, you shall pass on, for therefore are you come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal needed. And make it make cakes upon the, the hearth. And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man and he hasted to dress it. Okay. It says, And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood by them under the cat the tree and they did eat. Okay. So Abraham was, he was already happy, right? But this is not what it's talking about. Then it says, to see my day. Okay? It says, and he saw it and was glad. So, this is before, okay, Abraham saw his day. Okay, so the Lord appeared unto Abraham. And Abraham was making this, this uh, big meal for him. Okay? Or this meal for him. You know, he was happy for him. You know, that, that the Lord appeared unto his servant, right? And they said unto him, Where's Sarah your wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto you according to the time of life. And what's according to the time of life? That's when a woman has 
Oh, it's going to say, and lo, Sarah, your son, your wife shall have a son. Okay? So according to the time of life is when a woman gets pregnant. Okay? And then they have that child. Okay? The, the, the months that that woman is inside of that womb, I mean, that uh, child is inside of that womb, that's the time of life. Okay? And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women, meaning she wasn't able to uh, have children, right? Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxing old, so I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Sure, shall I of a surety bear a child which am, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Okay? And that's the point. Is anything too hard for the Lord? It's not. Okay? Reincarnation is not too hard for the Lord. At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. So the Lord is basically saying, okay, y'all both are going to have sex. Okay, Abraham and um and Sarah. Okay, and from that sex, okay, Sarah is gonna have a son, and I will be that son. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Okay, this is the Lord speaking. Now, I'm again to the bread of the you know the meat, I should say, of this topic. Okay, of the Lord, you know, not tempting anybody. Okay, now this is the meat. Okay, Genesis 22 and 1. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham, right? But what did this scripture say? God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he even man, any man. Okay. And that means that he's not going to get a man to go sin or do something unwise, okay? But it says that God tempted Abraham, right? Now, the word tempt, okay, is uh, naka, okay? And that means to test, try, prove, tempt, assay, put to the proof, or test, okay? Now... Continuing on, it says, and said unto him, Abraham, he said, behold, here am I. And he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest. It says he was glad to see that, that, that he was, he had a son. Okay. And get you into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering Upon one of the mountains which I will tell you of. Okay. So he's the Lord basically told God. Okay. Told Abraham. To go sacrifice your son. Your only son. Is a burnt offering. Okay. So to the, to the unwise. Okay. To the people who don't know anything. They will say that this is wrong. And this is unwise. Okay. Now it says, and Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. And Abraham and Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said my father he said here am I my son 
And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamp for a burnt offering? Now, this is a key word, man. Okay? Because when you go into the scriptures, okay? This is John 1 and 36. Okay? And looking upon Jesus, he, he walked. As he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Okay? So he said, But where is the Lamb for a burnt offering? Okay? So the Lord told Abraham to go sacrifice his son Isaac. Okay? For a burnt offering. Okay? And Abraham said, My son... God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to a place where God had told them of. And Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and, and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, here am I. And he said, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seest, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Okay? Now, if Abraham was to do this today, okay, a lot of people would sit up there and say that, you know, like I said, that that's, unwrong, that's wrong or unwise. Okay? That's wicked to try to go sacrifice your own son. That's what a lot of people would say. Okay? But the point is... That it's not unwise because the Lord tempted Abraham. Why? Because Isaac, okay, as the scriptures say, is he was going to be that that sacrificial lamb, okay, in the place. But Isaac is the one who the world really calls Jesus or Yahweh, okay, which is the mediator, okay, his sacrifice. And the things that he did, okay, the example that he set for us, okay, is how the way that we should walk if we want to please the Most High, okay. So the point is that, and this, this, you know, this truth it goes deep, man, okay. And um, Isaac, okay, is is you know the Lord reincarnated. Okay, or the Lord is Isaac, the same spirit, okay, and both of them. Okay, so Lord willing, this was edifying. Like I said, you know, the scriptures talk about, you know, God doesn't tempt any man. He not, he's not going to tell a man to go sin. This was all according to the Lord's plan. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say Shalom until next time.